The woman the boy became. The woman the boy became is a beautiful poem penned by K Tempest. Now let's get a brief introduction about the poet. K Tempest is a poet, recording artist, novelist and playwright. K Tempest was born on 22nd December 1985. In 2013 K Tempest won the Ted Hughes Award for the work Brand New Ancients. K Tempest albums namely Everybody Down and Let Them Eat Cows have been nominated for the Mercury Music Prize. K's debut novel The Bricks That Build Houses was a Sunday Times best seller and it even won the 2017 Books are my back readers award for the breakthrough author. K was nominated as the best female solo performer at 2018 Brit Awards. Hopelessly devoted, wasted, brand new ancients, everybody down, hold your own, the bricks that build the houses, let them eat cows were the notable works of K Tempest. The woman the boy became is taken from K Tempest poem collection namely Hold Your Own. The woman the boy became is written based on the story of Tiresias. One day Tiresias killed a pair of mating snakes. He was cursed by Hera for killing the snakes. According to Greek mythology, Hera is the goddess of women, marriage, family and childbirth. Tiresias was cursed by Hera and he was turned into a woman. She then marries a man and bears children. Then she led the life of a woman. After being cursed, Tiresias again witnessed the mating snakes, but this time he didn't harm them. So the curse got broken and Tiresias again turned into a man. One day, Tiresias was called by Zeus the god to solve the debate between Zeus and Hera the topic of the debate was among the both sexes male and female who get more pleasure on sex tiresias answer has supported zeus hera became so angry with tiresias response and she cursed him to go blind zeus then blessed him to be a prophet so after that tiresias was known as blind prophet so this particular poem the woman the boy became is written according to the story of tiresias so throughout the poem we can see certain similarities with the story of tiresias so now let's get into the chapter born more brown than most here the word brown means more muscular strength so here the poet says that the person whom the poet mention is born with more muscular strength born warm so the person is born warm that is the person is very friendly or very light hearted born close to ghost this particular line has certain similarity with tiresias so as i said earlier tiresias was a prophet so he has the ability to be in touch with the supernatural spirits So Tiresias ability to prophesy things and to see the supernatural spirits is been mentioned in this particular line. So born close to ghost means Tiresias ability to prophesy things. Born storm. So this particular line describes the potential of the person whom the poet is addressing. So the person whom the poet is addressing is very powerful and is very violent and a destructor. just like a storm so the person's potential is being denoted in this particular line born old grew young so tiresias transformation to a woman is being denoted in this lines you could tell she wasn't from the same place as the rest born strong born wrong so with these lines we can come to the conclusion that the poet is addressing a woman So here the poet the person whom the poet is addressing is a woman. So with these lines the poet says that the woman whom the poet mentioned is an extraordinary character. She was born differently. She grew. 
So we know that after Tiresias transformed into a woman, he led the life of a woman. So his life as a woman is being mentioned in this line. So the line she grew denotes Tiresias' life as a woman. Growing is what anyone would do. Growing is a very natural process. Given the particulars, here the word particulars denotes facts. She knew what she knew. She was ridiculous. So here the poet says that she is different from others. Also, she is very confident about what she knew. Born too smart and too dumb. This particular line is an example for antithetical statement. Antithetical statement means contradictory statements. So here the poet says that she was born too smart and also she was too dumb. Born to hold the world under her tongue. So Tiresias ability to prophesy things is being mentioned in this particular line. As I said earlier, Tiresias has the ability to prophesy things. So his ability to foresee things is being denoted in this particular line. Don't swallow yet. So here the poet says that there are yet more to say about her. She felt all the things that others didn't feel or if they did, they did a lot to conceal what the feelings were. She felt. So here the poet says that she is an extraordinary character and she could feel everything that others cannot feel. So as she is an extraordinary character, she can feel everything that others cannot feel. All the things that others didn't feel or if they did, they did a lot to conceal what the feelings were. So here the poet says that she feels everything that others cannot feel. Even if others feel, they would try to conceal or they would try to hide it from others. But she is not hiding it. So here the poet says that she could feel everything that others cannot feel and even if others feels they would try to hide it from others they would try to hide their feelings from others even if they feel she felt skies and bricks and rain she felt it all it made her fall and weep beneath a crawling dawn when everything was ruined torn Skies, bricks, rain, all these are associated with nature. So here the poet says that she could feel all around her, everything, every element around her. She could even feel everything that is a part of nature. She even fall because of her ability to feel everything. So here the poet says that she falls because of her ability to feel everything that others cannot feel. So her ability to feel everything makes her fall. She felt ill. The hardships that she had to face throughout her life is being portrayed in this line. But she felt still. So here the poet says that she had to face certain difficulties or hardships throughout her life. But instead of giving up, she fought against all those difficulties in life. How many use have you been? How many lined up inside, each killing the last? How many times you have seen yourself change, felt yourself splitting in half? So, Tiresias transformation into a woman is being mentioned with these lines. So, Tiresias was born man, but later due to a curse, he was transformed into a woman. So, a particular type of question is asked to Tiresias that how many transformations have you experienced? As I said earlier, Tiresias was born as a man, later he transformed into a woman and again he turned back to a man. So, here is a question being asked to Tiresias that how many transformations have you experienced? When does it happen? There in the moment? Or when you look back and say, that's when my changing began. So another question is being asked to Tiresias that when does such a transformation or such a change had happened to him? So a question is being asked to Tiresias that 
when does such a change or transformation happened in him born hero so again tyrius ability to prophesy things is being mentioned here born freak here the word freak means unusual born weirdo here the word weirdo means an odd character or an odd behavior born blind so tyrius was again cursed by hera to go blind so that particular incident is being mentioned here born seeing so though he is blind he could foresee things or he could prophesy things so his prophetic ability is being mentioned here born man she stands so tyrius was born as a man but now he is living as a lady or a woman so tyrius was born as a man and later he was transformed to a woman so his transformation to a woman is being mentioned here the hillside beneath her is crumbling the place where she is standing is not accepting her the sky frowns frowns means dislike so the sky does not like her it simply means that everything around her looks strangely or dislikely even the place where she is standing does not like her and it is not accepting her the land wants to return to the sea this line means that everyone wants her to leave the place so the place where she stands is not accepting her the sky does not like her and everyone wants her to leave the place she is food for the gulls and it's humbling but this is not all that she was born to be she is food for the gulls here gulls means sea gulls so she is considered as a curse so she is considered as a curse that's why it is said that she is food for the sea gulls and it's humbling she is not even given any importance and even she is considered as a curse but this is not all that she was born to be and here the poet says that she was not born to be a food for sea gulls it simply means that she was not a curse all of the things in her life that have happened all of the changes all of the strangers all of the nights and the days in her heart have been present since the start so these lines describes about the changes which she had undergone and the strangers whom she met all the nights and days in her heart have been present since the start every changes that happened to her that is from the very next time when tyrius turned to a woman every changes every things that is with her from the beginning you don't learn you remember there is no need to learn experience is the best teacher so we should learn everything from our experience as it is said that experience is the best teacher born with it all in your chest so she bears all the burden in her chest born first learn last burn fast like paper unless you are wet logs so with these lines it is said that when we feel or understand everything we should burn like a paper so here with these lines it is said that if we are carrying all the burdens or everything in our mind or in our chest we will be burned like a paper or else we will be like wet logs wet logs cannot be burned so if we are carrying all the burdens in our chest we will be burned like a paper or else we will be like wet logs which cannot be burned wet dogs shelter in her caves when they get lost howl with her so here in this particular poem the person whom the poet mentioned is a woman and she is not accepted by others even the place she stands even the sky no one is accepting her everyone dislikes her so here she says that she becomes a refuge or a shelter to those who are lost she is disregarded by the society so she cares the disregarded people or disregarded things so she becomes a refuge or a shelter 
to those who are lost or those who are disregarded by others she has been touched without asking punched by a madman drunk in a bad town when she puts her hands down and feels what's beneath she feels all the grief of the world lay a wreath for the girls so this line says that she is randomly moved by people people touch her without her permission because she is not treated as an individual so she is randomly moved by people and someone even touch her without her permission she feels grief and she even understands how woman is being treated in the society and she also understands the adversities faced by woman in this world she will march till she feels the tarmac respond she will die for our wrongs we won't notice so here the word tarmac means it is a material used to pave the road she will march till she feels the tarmac respond so here she says that she will get recover from her hardships she will march with her head high till a way is being paved for herself so she says that she will march until a way is being paved for herself she will die for our wrongs this line mentions about jesus christ who died for the sin of others so here she says that she would die for other sins but we won't notice it she is fire and sleet and granite space rock shattering the planet she wants to stop it spinning in its track like a dumb child here the woman that is the transformed version of tiresias says that if you touch me you will be burned because i'm fire i may be gentle as sleet but i will react like fire and i'm hard as granite so as i said earlier many people touch her without her permission so here she is reacting to such things so she says that if anyone touch her without her permission she will burn them because she is fire she may be gentle as sleet but she will react like a fire also she is very hard as granite she even says that she will be like a space rock which can even destroy the earth or everything that is made by man she wants to stop it spinning its tracks like a dumb child so here she says that she will even stop the planet from rotating she knows that it's not possible that's why she calls herself as a dumb child so as i said earlier she is being mocked by many people and many even touch her without her permission so these lines signifies her reactions to such actions she will be a prophet one day for a moment she soaks up all that she can she will own it this filthy body this life the detourment of all that was precious in favor of all that is tepid so here the word tepid means it's something that will never interest us so with these lines it signifies that right from her birth she had to abandon everything in her life which is so dear for her so as per others likes and dislikes she had to sacrifice or she had to abandon many things in her life like her body like her life etc so this line simply means that she had to sacrifice her favorable things for others likes and dislikes opponents means nothing she is titan born of the first breed born in the last days frightened of nothing that bleeds the more that you hate her the less that she needs so here a particular name is mentioned titan titan was a primordial god and he was first in the category of olympian gods he is courageous enough to face anything that come against him so here she represent herself as titan she is very determined and courageous enough to face any obstacles that's why she calls herself as titan she even says that she would take the responsibilities of everything that happened to her life so with these lines the woman she says that she is responsible for her change in her body 
incidents everything that's around her so like titan she will fought everything bravely and also like titan she is the first in her breed was a uh, tyrrhius was born as a man but now he was transformed to a woman so he is the first in such a breed the more you hate her the less that she needs so here she says that if the society keep on criticizing her she will not give much attention to them all of her childhood passed in a flash when she woke on her back in a clearing time to be in me now so now she decided to change herself all her memories flashed in her mind so her memory just flashed in her mind everything went so quickly so she want to be herself and she even says that it is time for her to be herself how many use will you carry weeping and desperate to marry how many use will you churn out turn out the light for the night she has burned out but she will be all right she is coming up child of her time so how many use will you carry so here a question is been asked to her that how many use or how many characters or personalities will you carry because she is a transformed version of tyrrhius she was a man before now living as a woman so a question is being asked that how many characters or personalities will you carry how many use will you churn out here churn out means produce so here and another question is been asked that how many characters or personalities will you produce turn out the light for the night she has burned out but she will be all right so here she was thinking for a whole day and she feels really exhausted she is really tired of thinking so she even says that she is perfectly all right even after facing all these obstacles in her life she is coming up this particular line is an example for pessimistic note red morning blood on the tips of the thorns and the awning is dripping with all of us gone we were born in days that will fill you with pawn and with boredom so here the poet says that red comes from the blood on the tips of thorns and every morning is seen red in color so here the poet says that blood shed is seen as a result of war so everywhere blood shed is seen so this particular color red means the time of war so as a result of war everywhere is filled with red blood and the awning is dripping so here the word awning means it is a covering or a canopy that is used to protect things from sun or rain with all our scorn we were born in days that will fill you with pawn and with boredom so here the poet says that nobody foster respect for each other we always humiliate others so life has become so bored as no one shares respect each other gray little faces march in the squadron to war songs penned by cynical fiends the latest big hit that cements the routine sell us the download and kill our dreams so gray little faces march in the squadron to war songs penned by cynical fiends so the young untrained soldiers they know nothing but they march according to the commanders and they march according to the war songs penned by cynical fiends she rises she will see through the disguises they stab knives in her thighs see the swell of her iris she survives she will run till the cities are vanquished and all the children are gods again she rises she will see through the disguises they stab knives in her thighs so the woman whom the poet is addressing is being brutally attacked by the society but she will overcome all those obstacles see the swell of her iris her eyes are swollen because of crying so she had faced many difficulties and obstacles throughout her life so she was crying for all those obstacles so due to continuous crying her eyes are swollen she survives
so despite all these obstacles she will survive so till now she was suffering from everything and she was crying for it now she will survive from everything she will survive she will rise she will run till the cities are vanquished and all the children are gods again so here the word vanquished means conquered or destroyed so she says that she will run till the society is defeated or destroyed or conquered and till when the child again become god so here she says that she will only come back when the city is destroyed and when children get back to gods because according to the woman children had lost their innocence they had no feelings because of the society children lost their purity so she will run till the children get back to gods as children are considered as gods representatives so the poem is concluded by saying that the woman will return or she will run till the society is been conquered or destroyed and the children again gets back to god she will run till the children retain their purity or innocence as they were considered as god's representatives so the poem is concluded by stating the woman's rising up so she was brutally attacked by the society she suffered all those obstacles and due to continuous crying her eyes were swollen but despite all these obstacles she survives she concludes the poem by saying that she will run or she will return when the society is defeated and when the children gets back to god or when they retain their innocence so that's all about the poem i hope this video would be helpful for you thank you